As we continue our coverage on the successful location of Jamie Kloss, we now meet the woman who first made contact with Jamie after she escaped captivity. NBC 26's Ryan Curry in the town of Gordon today, Douglas County, talking with that woman who was walking her dog actually when she came upon Jamie Kloss. I said, just call 911 because I believe I have Jamie with me. Jeannie Nutter was out walking her dog near her family cabin when she noticed a girl screaming for help. That girl was later identified as Jamie Kloss. I saw a young girl um, and she was saying to me, I need help, I'm lost, I don't know where I am. Nutter discovered Jamie Thursday afternoon. She says Jamie looked dirty and cold and Nutter then took her to a local neighbor's home where they called 911 to rescue Jamie. We gave Jamie a blanket because she was she just had um, pants and a sweatshirt on, no hat, no mittens. So I, I was pretty sure she was cold because it was like this yesterday, only no sun. The girl who was missing for nearly three months found alive and the person who held her captive now in custody. Nutter says bringing peace to the community that feared the worst is something she will look back on for the rest of her life. I'm just so thrilled for her family and her grandfather. Um, and that she she's home safe and that it had a happy ending. I mean, this is a great, this is a great day for her and her family. Now, deputies from the Douglas County Sheriff's Office say they will keep this road closed as the investigation continues on. Anyone, unless they're a local resident, will not be allowed inside. However, everyone who I spoke with say there's a lot of joy in the air that Jamie has now been found safe. Reporting in the town of Gordon, I'm Ryan Curry for NBC 26.